Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Albrona here again, and today we're going over Hinokami-style Tan Tanjiro's trailer. And, uh, so yeah, I wasn't expecting there to be two versions of Tanjiro, but I guess I guess I should have, because that's kind of common in anime fighters. But, uh, I'm not complaining, because he looks really cool, and it's good we get to see all of his flaming attacks. So, we'll watch the trailer once together, and then I'll talk about all the, uh, in individual little things we see after we watch it once. Now, I'm just gonna take a, <coughs> a quick break from the trailer right now, because apparently that's how you avoid copyright. So I'll just quickly talk about overall how the character seems like he's going to play right now for like a few seconds. Um, it seems kind of similar to Rengoku. I have a feeling like he's going to be a quite simple character. No fancy things like setups or um, like crazy mix-ups or things. It seems like he's going to be a pretty basic but just flashy awesome looking character. And uh, yeah, I think it's about time we can get back into the trailer. So, yeah, he's got, like, this super fancy, like, flashy, like, five-hitting uh, <laughs> attack thing. And, yeah, just all the, all the flashy fire attacks all over the place. Like that there, too. And then we don't actually get to see the activation of his, um, of his ultimate, which makes me believe it might be kind of cool, and they're trying to hide it for later. But, uh, yeah, that was his whole trailer. Now that we've seen it once together, let's go over all the little things so that we actually get to see in it. So it starts off with his regular attacks. You know, he does some attacks, and there's some cheeky cutting here, so it's hard to tell if this next part is actually part of the attack string or if it's something else. I have a feeling like it is, though. And it's just, like, quite a long attack string, and he does these cool, like, flips in it. And here we get to see his up version of his attack string, which is actually quite interesting because it seems like the up portion actually has two hits. So he has the upward slash, and then this, like upward stab thingy to launch the opponent into the air. So it's kind of a two-hitting upwards attack string. And if you don't know what the upwards attack strings are, they are what allow you to do combos. So he can do a homing dash there and then attack from the air and continue his combo and stuff. Then we get to see a few dodges, you know, dodging some of Rengoku's attacks. Now, <clears throat> here is something interesting that we have not seen before. And it is something that we were, were aware of um, from that screenshot of the um, demo gameplay we got to see. But this is one of those defensive mechanics that we've never seen before, called um, like a block parry or something. And we get to see a picture of it in that screenshot, but here we get to actually see it in action. And honestly, I have no idea what the hell is going on. So Tanjiro is just like standing there and then just like, boom, he just does like a single slash thing and it just completely counters what Rengoku does. And it does this like big orange circle and then, and then they cut into like, it looks like a grab animation, but I'm pretty sure this might actually be a continuation of the parry. Because if you look really closely at how Rengoku gets knocked back, he kind of does this like stumbling backwards like walk thing. He's still doing that in this animation. So maybe they just reused that animation for the throw and for this parry. But it seems like this parry might actually have an animation off of it. Which is kind of crazy, because it's just something you can just do whenever and you just counter your opponent's attacks. Because in that case, there's a lot of parry counter attacks in this game. And I'm, I'm intrigued to see how they all act differently from each other. But uh, yeah, honestly, there's not too much I can say about this. But it's very interesting, and I'm keen to figure out how, how it actually works and what it actually is. Now, next we get to see a really fancy-looking special move. So he does a single slash... And then he does a special move cancel into this, like, five-hitting, super flaming, <laughs> wild move. That seems like it might actually bounce the opponent up for a combo. Because you can see Rengoku gets, like, a big bounce here. So I wonder if Tanjiro, he could either just get attacks off of it, or maybe he can spend a homing dash to um, extend a combo from it. But, um... As we've seen before with um, characters like Nezuko who have really long special moves, like with a long fancy animation, that can actually be kind of bad because the opponent, they, how, with the side, with the sidekick combo breakers, where the sidekick just like picks you up out of the combo, um, if, you, if Tanjiro does this long, long fancy fire special move and Rengoku gets pulled out of the combo by his sidekick, then Tanjiro is probably going to keep doing these spins over and over again, and Rengoku can get a full punish. So that might be a little bit scary for this move. So maybe it's something you want to be a bit wary about when you do it. But it looks really awesome, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Next, okay, I said that he looked a little bit, um, like, he doesn't have, like, tricky things or, like, uh, like, interesting, unusual things. But this, this move here is pretty interesting. So he kind of does this, like, jump into the air, but completely vanishes. So he does this flash, 
like into flames, bursts into flames and disappears. Then he just appears in the air in front of the opponent and does this big flaming circle. Now what I'm intrigued by this move is, is it just like, does he just like jump into the air and like vanish and then do this, this fire circle in the air and like maybe dodge the opponent's t attack? Or is it a teleport? Because we can't really tell here because Rengoku's like right up in his face. But if this is like a teleport where he just like boop, like disappears, that has a big flash, like it's kind of slow so it wouldn't be an overpowered teleport. But is it a teleport? Because he just, he disappears and then just appears right in front of, on top of where Ren Rengoku is and then does that big fire slash. So maybe this is a teleport that he can just do from anywhere to get it on the, on the opponent. Uh, it would probably be unsafe and it's not crazy fast, but if it is, that's kind of cool because we have not seen a teleport yet. So yeah, very interesting move and it looks really cool and it's a dodge either way. Next we get to see his air attack, I think, which is kind of unusual because it seems a bit slower than other moves because he kind of launches himself further into the air and then launches back in down onto the opponent. So he kind of like gets really high in the air. Maybe that could be good for dodging other people's air attacks because like when he attacks, he goes like leaps backwards and then charges in. But um, it hits twice and he gets to do some attacks on the ground. So nothing too fancy, but I think the activation could be a little bit interesting on it. Um, then we get to see his armored attack or his like his held charged armored attack where he gets that red flash and he's holding it down for a bit and Rengoku blocks it, but you can see it makes his guard go red, which means it's really close to, to either breaking or taking a lot of chip damage. So it seems like even though it can be blocked and it's probably very unsafe, um, it does a lot of a lot of pressure on guard or something. And um, But as we've seen before, if that did hit the opponent, or maybe he counted, if he counted Rengoku, he would get a full combo from it, which is pretty cool. Then we get to see some extra flashy awakened strikes where he just does his slashes with the awesome fire effects because he's in his awakened state. And then he does his down version of the combo, um, which, you know, will just do a big chunk of damage and leave the opponent on the ground, but not lead to a combo. But it looks really cool anyway. Then we get to see some normal slashes that aren't awakened into a special move where he just does like two big flamey, big, big flamey slashes like damn. Those particle effects go like all the way like past the, where the camera is. <laughs> They're, that's a really big slash. But um, it seems like they just knock the opponent away. Maybe they can lead to a combo or maybe you can cancel them into his other special moves. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, it kind of launches the opponent half, like kind of slightly into the air if you look closely. I wonder if he could cancel that into the like vanish, jump into the air move and then do that fire ring and then get a combo going that way. That could be really cool. Ooh, I'm kind of excited about that. I want to see if that works. And then they just completely cut into his ultimate, which looks really cool, but I'm intrigued as to what the opening, the like the startup of the ultimate looks like, because they usually show us. So I wonder if it's either way too boring to show or too interesting that they want to save it for later. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, that's all we get to see in this trailer. I think he's a pretty pretty cool looking character. I'm glad we're getting to see some some other breathers. We've seen a lot of water breathers, but uh, damn, these fire, fire breathers, their particle effects are looking ah, beautiful. Anyways, he looks pretty interesting. Thanks for watching all the way through. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.